Good morning, everyone. I'm really liking this little sun ray that I'm catching right now. I want to try to vlog. Um, it's been a while and it's not like there's too much going on in my life because we are quarantining. But I thought I'd bring you along to see what I do. Um, I've been like awake in bed for like about an hour already. Um, I just woke up and couldn't fall back asleep. But I felt like 6.30 was way too early to wake up on a quarantine day. Like, it's just too much time of my day that I have to figure out what to do with. So, I am going to get up soon and make some breakfast. But I thought I'd say hi first. Hopefully, you guys like this vlog. <laughs> So I'm about to make breakfast. I am going to make an omelet with onion, red pepper, chili pepper, top it off with some avocado. I have some broccoli in the fridge, but I think I'm gonna save that for lunch. Um, and then I have feta, so let me get chopping. Breakfast is ready. Um, I'm just gonna stand here and eat. Like I don't usually sit at the breakfast table and eat unless I'm just like super tired. Just cause I sit so much during the day. I am so full. I think it's because the avocado that I had was also like two times larger than normal. And I put feta on my omelet, which I don't normally do. So I struggled finishing that, but I hate wasting food. So that's done. I probably won't have lunch at this point. And I'm going to save the grapes probably for like a snack. I tried to message my family to see if they wanted to FaceTime, but I don't think they're awake yet. They're late risers. So I'll give them an hour or two. All right, we are in my office. I think you've seen it a couple times. If you guys need to see more or want to see more, I just realized my hood was in verse the whole entire time. If you want to see more, then let me know and I'll like give you a tour next time. Might be a little bit messy in that shelf there, but I think it's okay. Not too bad. Um, okay, so I'm gonna answer some emails, answer some of your comments on YouTube. So I try to answer them as quickly as possible. Some Sometimes I don't get to them in a while and that's my bad. It's just still like because I only post like once a week maybe and I took such a break last year at the end of last year, YouTube's still like a secondary like platform for me. So I'm always on Instagram and anyways, I feel like I want to put on some earrings because I find that earrings help my face look less poofy. So I'm gonna put on my Easy Anna Luisa hoops that I talked about in I think my hoodies video. Yeah, like I said, I like wearing them at home, They're super easy, but they make a difference. I feel like my whole face shape just changed. Now that I've got my earrings on, <laughs> I am going to answer emails. I don't have any Zoom calls today other than maybe my family FaceTime. So the emails I'm going to go through now are from brands and marketing agencies, PR agencies that want to gift products. So I work with a content creator agency called Platform Media and they represent me in campaigns that are paid. So they represent me for any projects that are paid, that they're 
paying me a monetary amount because they take a commission out of those brand deals. That's how they get paid. And then I get paid the rest of the money. But when it comes to gifting, so like there's something called basically like gift in exchange for a service um, versus like being paid for what I do. And I find that that's what I did basically at the beginning. Like I wasn't getting paid for creating content at the beginning because you have to build basically a resume before you can prove to them like I'm worth like what I'm charging you because this is what I do. So I still get emails for gift in exchange for services because there are companies out there that are smaller or just newer to the whole social media marketing realm of things. And so they either don't have the budget to spend specifically for social media or they just don't have a marketing budget at all because they're new. So I go through these emails and look at the products they're talking about and see if they align with my content and my values and if it's something that I think that you guys will like and that I will like. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I am very selective with these things because like I don't want to waste product and I like I don't just give my address out to companies that ask me for my mailing address because I'm just tired of getting random packages that I'm not going to talk about because it doesn't align with me. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Also just got an email from my campaign manager, Carolyn, who's great. And she's basically saved me last year when my head was about to explode because I was so busy, but it's about a potential paid campaign. So after I just rambled a little bit about what I do, I realized that you guys are probably gonna have some questions. So if you do have questions, leave them in the comments. If there are enough, then I'll create a whole separate video. If not, I just won't talk about it anymore. Um, it is like one o'clock. I don't know where the day has gone. Actually, it's not even one o'clock. It's like 1.45. Um, did some work, called my parents, did some more work, tried out the markers, as you guys saw. And now I'm about to make a late lunch. I have leftover broccoli and Travis had some pasta with pesto on it. So I'm going to put feta cheese on it. But I don't think I can have feta cheese in the morning anymore. I think it's like too heavy because my stomach was not happy after that omelet and feta situation. It was delicious, don't get me wrong, but I think I'm used to like smoothies and just like a light omelet. And I think I'm going to make a wine spritzer because it's two, so that's okay. It's a quarantini moment. This is lunch, pasta salad, broccoli with some balsamic, and a wine spritzer had a mishap on the tablecloth, so please ignore that. And I actually realized that Making the Cut is on Amazon Prime now, Prime Video, so I'm gonna watch that while I eat lunch. It's Monday, I am going to continue the vlog from Thursday. After I made lunch and started making the cut, I kind of just went on with the day and didn't really do anything too exciting to vlog. And then Friday was kind of just a mess, like, really was not into the mood in the mood to do anything i just had one of those bad days where i just like couldn't like just even get up the energy to talk to a camera so then the weekend trav is home i like he doesn't love being in the in front of the camera so i don't typically vlog those days so now we're back on monday it is about one o'clock now this morning i um just did some work i had to catch up on some like admin stuff it's like tax season so there's that like that to deal with and then just making sure like everything financially we are kind of as set as we can be for whatever is to come however long this craziness is going to last for i am just about to clean up the kitchen then make some food so i guess i'll bring you with me so i'm gonna make some coffee because i haven't had any this morning i made a smoothie and toast so I was like, why am I feeling weird? Because I didn't have caffeine today. So lately I just have been using my Nespresso like nonstop. I kind of stopped using it for over a year and then brought it back out and haven't stopped. But the one thing with the Nespresso machine that I have is that it's like sm the small capsule. So whenever I make coffee, it only like comes up like, it's like a basically like a Longo 
is that how you say it? A Lungo Espresso. Um, so I just like press it twice before they drop the capsule into the coffee machine and then um, it gives me a little bit more without like making it an, an Americano because you basically get like the boiled water going through the coffee beans like one more time. So it's like kind of, it works for me. I am going to make some vermicelli now for lunch because I have some leftover broccoli, mushrooms, and um, like yams. So I'm just gonna heat that up. All right, this is what I ended up making. These are the leftover mushrooms and green onions, leftover broccoli, and then just the vermicelli sauteed in some soy sauce and some like honey garlic soy sauce type deal. So I just made some sangria. It's a new recipe I'm trying out, so I haven't shared it yet. I will share it if it turns out. So this one's going in the fridge, and I'm just gonna drink this because I am craving some. So it probably won't be as good because the fruit and stuff hasn't been sitting in it for a while, but this one should be ready later on tonight, if not tomorrow. So it's Wednesday, it is 12 p.m. I think this is like the third week I've been trying to continue this vlog. I am just waiting for something to transfer so I can send it. And then I think I'm going to show you a little bit about my closet and what I'm like planning to do. All right, so I am going to show you my closet now and then like a little pile that I have for things to donate and um, to sell. So I've just decided not to sell anything right now. A lot of you wanted me to, but I just don't feel comfortable like shipping things right now just in case because you never know. Anyways, that's a pile that's like ready to go whenever things are safer out there. So yeah. Anyways, let me show you. Okay, so this is like an Ikea closet system that I forget what the name is, but it's not the pack system. It's just like, it's another one. I'll figure it out. So I have it all color coordinated. I used to have it by like types of clothes, but I felt that it just wasn't as visually appealing and I had to go through everything anyways when I'm choosing out my outfit. So I have like longer jackets and blazers here because as you can see, I have sweaters here, so it would hit the sweater, so I had to move them over. Originally, this was a section for all like shirts and blouses. I have like coats and bigger sweaters, or jackets and bigger sweaters, so color coordinated as well, or like as much as I could. Um, this puffer is probably gonna go downstairs. I've left it out because it's a light puffer. It's from Uniqlo, and just in case it gets cold again, like it's snowing today. And then this is the long section where I have longer jackets and jumpsuits. So you can see I have like these super long jumpsuits and then like longer jackets that I put here. These are my extra um, hangers that I use for filming. So all my filming hangers are gold with like the velvet hanger part, just so that it's a little bit more neat in the videos. I just washed this guy so the hood is just drying over here. And then I have all my jeans and some trousers. So again, basically color coordinated, blue jeans, black jeans, white jeans. Some of them are khakis. Um, then a little bit mixed up over here just because I got lazy. Some boots over here, shoes, sneakers. I keep my sneakers here. Um, because there's drawers. I'm not gonna open this one because that's where all my intimates are. And then I have shirts. So, I mean, it's not the neatest right now, but basically, here, let's put that over there. Tanks and like t-shirts. So in here I have my sweatshirts. So usually these are hoodies that I wear out and um, like sweatshirts that I wear out. Here is where I have like all my super large sweaters that I wear at home most of the time. So these are like my winter lounging ones that I'm gonna keep out for a little bit longer because it's still pretty cold. Over here, I haven't completely figured it out yet. This is still kind of like my hidden corner of mess. So I have some bags up there, my camera boxes. These are jeans. I was gonna do a denim for them video with Aritzia before all this happened, but then I felt like it wasn't really like appropriate to do a denim haul when we're all home and like really who's wearing jeans right now. So then I have some of the Aritzia cozies and it's from the video. Um, just a really big bag that's not gonna fit anywhere else. Some miscellaneous items. 
And then over here is a little bit of a mess. So this is kind of like my beauty corner that I need to clean up. So just ignore that. Jewelry, which I'm also going to clean up and show you another time. These are my purses that fit here. That's why that, there's like that random bag over there because it's too tall. And then I have just some reusable bags. This, I think I'm going to put more sweaters in because I had hats for winter there before, but I emptied it out and put it in the basement. So I have also a little closet here where I put some pieces that I don't wear as often and then I have some bags up at the top so this is the guest bedroom I mean we're not having anyone stay with us right now so this is where my pile of to sell clothes are hanging out for now so I also have this dresser here from um, Urban Barn. I just have some of my other clothes there because I don't have like a dresser in the office. So I have some hoodies, I actually remove some stuff so I can actually have more room and move some stuff over here. Sweaters. And then some more pants that can't fit in the pant section of the Ikea closet thing over there. I do want to show you this cute little bag I got from my friend at Sonia Lee. Look at this gorgeous chain. So it's actually removable and I can change it up. So it's like the perfect little bag for walks because you can just put your phone in it. So I actually think I'm going to end the vlog here. I just, I feel like it's been like three weeks now of collecting footage it's going to be a lot to go through i'm going to be a little bit more strategic next time i do a vlog i just wanted to like start filming and like kind of get the hang of it again so i hope that you enjoyed it um let me know or if there's like specific things you want to see next time in the vlog and i will continue filming and <laughs> if you like the video like the video subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram and i will see you soon